guys thank you for coming back to my channel I'm Brooke and this is breaking down with Brooke this is story time though so I'm gonna get a little serious because this story is about my son um basically I was blessed to have a beautiful child unfortunately doctors told me that I wouldn't be able to have kids when I was 24 so it kind of was a life changer for me it definitely was it made me realize that life is short and you never know what can happen, right? So I took all the procedures of getting everything corrected with myself, everything warmly corrected, you know. Um, finally, here comes this miracle baby inside my stomach, right? You go through the nine months, you go through all the appointments, the blood work, the piss tests, the sonograms. <sighs> Till you get to the big thing, right? Labor. I gave birth to my son two days late, right? He was supposed to be here February 17th. He came out February 19th. I did dilate it February 18th of 2011. Um, I can tell you right now, most women don't remember anything from labor, which is absurd to me because I remember every dreading moment. How could you forget something like that? Like, okay, maybe after I have my second or third kid, maybe I get with other mothers because I be asking my mom and all the women in my family, like, how was it for you when I was pregnant before it happened? I couldn't get any really good insight because everybody see that they don't remember. But anyway, so I have this beautiful, beautiful caramel baby. He comes out. He's about 10 pounds, 6 ounces, 22 and a half inches long. So my baby's pretty big. And I carried him very well. And me and his father decided that he will be circumcised. Yes, my son will be circumcised. I mean, some people are against it. If that's your religion, you know, that's kudos to you. But, um, so, yeah. I was in the hospital for a total of four to five days. After four to five days had passed, I was wondering why they didn't circumcise my child. I'm about to be exited, you know, discharged, whatever. Um, they did it the last day. They did it the last day. And I wasn't too sure that's how it goes because unfortunately my mom wasn't around and I didn't have like a mother figure around at that time. So I just went with it. But you know what's funny? When you return, when you turn a mom, you know your child's scream, cry from when it's born. Cause I don't think I recall even hearing my son even like really scream until that day. And I woke up on my sleep, on my hospital bed, and I just hear this little baby crying so loud. And it's like, Miss Bailey, you're walking and you're supposed to be kind of resting. We get it, you know, you want to get yourself together. I'm like, I hear my baby. I'm... So it was my son. He said, don't worry, we're going to bring him to you. We just circumcised them. So I'm thinking, okay, things are on the road. I get my son back. They told me I cannot be discharged until he takes his first urine. I don't even know how long that would be. Again, this is my first time being a mom, right? So we waited about four hours for my son peace. He's crying. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Papa. You just can't be going around here with no turtleneck. So <laughs> I did that. So when I take him home, I am blessed that I had his aunts around. And one aunt, it took one aunt to say, She's, she's taking pictures. I'm changing his first diaper. She's like, why it looks like that? What? What do you mean? She said, I'm going to just take pictures right now, you know, just to be sure if that don't heal right. Because that don't really look right to me. And I started paying attention to my son's private area as he grew. Now, by six months, it didn't heal properly to me. Now, I'm not saying I'm a... Um, a professor of penis but I had my share in my time and I didn't like how his looked this is my kid this is the man I birthed and put on this world so I want that corrected 
So I let the I let the doctor know. I had we took him to three doctors, three doctors. I mean, the first one was like, oh, maybe you just need him more. Second one was like, come back in time. The third one was straight to the point. I'm gonna take you to a specialist. I'm gonna refer you and see what they say. And from that moment, it took that one that that one doctor is now currently still my son's doctor. Okay, so shout out to Doctor Ka. You're the bro because you always make sure my son Kuda is on point with everything, you know. And we took him to Coney Island Hospital. They told me so much things like they just did a half ass job on my baby, and it really tormented my me, my son, all together. Did I sue? Absolutely. <laughs> And she's going straight to my son. Absolutely. You know that. But I'm just like, why do we have to go through that? Y'all should have just did what y'all had to do. Y'all didn't have to rush the procedure. I was in there a total of four to five days. So y'all had well enough time to do this right. The fact that I had to go and get a revision of circumcision for my son. Oh, yeah, you're going to pay. And you're going to make sure when my son turns 18, he's Letitia. <laughs> you already know, right? So I'm gonna let y'all see Kuda. Christian! Come here, baby. This is my gorgeous, intelligent. He's so phenomenal. Sorry. Come here, baby. Come. Come sit right here. Come. You're gonna climb over? Kids. Come. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. So he's so busy playing his new Xbox, okay? So, um. <laughs> But he's now six years old. As you can see, he's a big boy, right? And to this day, he still be on some mommy, my pee pee. But that's because, you know, he was traumatized. And the, it hurt when I put my son through surgery. And for him to wake up being drugged, it, I never teared as much. I think that was the first time I ever cried. Feeling like I could have lost my son. I know that I, I wasn't losing him. But the risk of putting your child under anesthesia and do surgery at a very young age. You got this done at two. It could affect you. So, I just want to hear from any other mothers that may have been going through maybe something similar. Um, again, I will write a description underneath. Um, because at the end of the day, I just want to speak from mother to mother or father to mother, parent to parent, all around the world. You know, we are our kids' voice until they can speak for themselves. And it's always smart to pay attention to your child. Whether it can may sound like the dumbest thing ever, pay attention. It pays to pay attention. Body language and all. Until next time, you just broke it down with Brooke. I love to hear from y'all. Share, like, comment. See you later, guys.